thank you, Igor. Thank you very much. I, I know that I'm using your uh, coffee break now, so I, I will be very short uh, and uh, I will try to, to really uh, put it in a nutshell. Uh, first of all, one important disclosure, uh, I am working for Cargo X uh, and I'm a small owner of Cargo X, one of the 10 companies in the world that is uh, has a knowledge uh, and technology to issue, transfer uh, uh, of electronic bill of lading and other electronic documents or records, which is better word for, for like Juan Pablo said. Uh, and that gives me great insight into what is happening in the practical uh, part of the use of, of uh, BL. Uh, for example, uh, now we are at the stage that uh, all the big 10, starting with uh, uh, MSC, Maersk, Hapakloid, CMA, 2-1, two, two uh, and all others uh, have committed that in 2030, they will be using only electronic bills of lading. So that is a very important information. And uh, also on the bulk uh, is happening uh, quite similar thing. Uh, BIMCO, uh, there is also one commitment from BIMCO bill of lading users that they will be using in in few years at least fifty percent of all the bills of lading in electronic form. Well, obviously there are much less bills of lading in 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 Trump in in uh, bulk carriers, but nevertheless, uh, also that part of the market is very important. So uh, I, I agree. I couldn't agree more with Juan Pablo when he said that uh, uh, Mletter could avoid uh, MLTR could avoid. Uh, equivalence that brought a lot of problems but on the other hand I could not imagine how it could work because our minds are still in the documents era our parting is using documents and when you think of a document you think of a paper you think something that you can hold in your hand so that's why it's so it's so hard to understand uh, uh, what is what is uh, uh, electronic record uh, the paper is reliable. We do believe that the paper is reliable. We do believe that since the first bill of lading in, in, in Genoa, which was issue, issued so many hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Even nowadays, we, we believe the, the Italians have a saying, carta canta. Uh, you know, it, it, it literally it would say that the, the, the paper is singing, but the actual meaning is that you can believe in the paper. It's what is written on the paper is actually true. So this is what Carta Canta says. And uh, but what 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 about the electronic record? Do do we do? Is it reliable? I don't know. How is it? Uh, do you use the electronic signature already? You use it a lot. You you believe in electronic signature. I, I believe more in an electronic signature than in a wet inking sign signature. It's much easier to forge the wet link signature than electronic because for the electronic you you should have the access to the actual uh, let's say uh, um, to 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 the that small um, application that that is uh, uh, adding this electronic signature to the document so uh i think that that, that will be uh, slowly slowly this this shift i think so when i was presenting the first time in malaga in 2018 electronic bill of lading uh people were looking at me like like i'm a little bit crazy <laughs> but the questions that 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 were uh, at the time, uh, interesting were were quite alike like today. But I think that we move much forward. So uh, I will maybe just one one another thing. Which, what we usually don't think about. The, um, it was very interesting from your part, Professor, when you were explaining the differences. We would say in in our part of the world, world vrednosti papiri. So we don't have equivalent of of paper of value which is direct translation which means nothing i mean to, for the common lawyer uh but if you think a little bit the the securities 
are, are electronic for many, many years. Bonds uh, uh, and, and uh, uh, other serial documents, shares, but individual negotiable instruments are not digital. So what, what is the main reason? That's my question. Happy. Sorry. Happy. Habit. Uh, yeah, maybe habit is one of them. Any any other ideas? I would like to ask you. I have a theory which is quite uh, plain, actually. <laughs> Usual securities are issued in the country, controlled by the country, and are a national thing. So if, if you want to be on a stock exchange, you have to accept the rules of the stock exchange. And if the stock exchange says it will be electronic, it will be electronic. So you can do, do anything about it. So they have a central registry, and that's it. But on the other hand, for, for example, for the bill of lading, who would accept one central registry? That, there's no way you have... Uh, you have um, you have shipper, you have uh, uh, carrier, uh, actual carrier, um, NVOCC, uh, consignee, this bank, that bank. You have so many different players from so many different parts of the world. It's not possible. They would not agree to one single central registry. There, there's where blockchain came in with its its technology, uh, and uh, yes, it is. It is. Uh, somehow complicated, but I think that it resolves many problems. So I will go now to the, I will leave all this out, all this, it's not. <laughs> um, maybe what was the main point I wanted, I wanted to say about, uh, uh, about the reliability. So the, the uh, uh, MLETR is all about reliability that's the most important part of the of the mletr it refers to the methods used to manage electronic transferable records so in article 12 uh this is this article that i'm going to show to you uh it's uh, it's talking about the general standard for assessing the re reliability of systems and methods employed. So these are actually not 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 uh, uh, it, it's not numerous clauses of let's say conditions for a document to be reliable. So it's not it's illustrative. It's not exhaustive. So there could be additional possibilities like uh, quality of stuff that is uh, 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 within one solution provider of, uh, uh, of electronic records, uh, sufficient financial resources and liability insurance, continuance of business, and so on and so forth. So that's, that's not the numerous clauses. Uh, countries could add some other uh, uh, conditions for the for the reliability, but what is important is that this uh, MLTR article is talking about the uh, reliability ex post. For example, something happens to the documents, and somebody says this document is not reliable. Then it would be used within the domestic law, which would include these rules from MLTR. They would go back and they would check if this uh, system was reliable, which is quite different from what is happening in practice now. Uh, because I will go now directly here and uh, come a little bit back. Uh, what is happening with the... Uh, with the ICC, I think that ICC saw its opportunity to fill in this gap of availability check uh, because, first of all, the solution providers started to ask uh, uh, reputable uh, law company, law firms to give the opinion on the, on the system. Is it reliable? 
or is it not? But it's actually a very technical question. Uh, and uh, the, the legal opinion on a, on a, on a technical uh, level is not really giving the answer. So what can a, a, a law firm say? Yes, you have rules connected to the uh, ISO standard or one whatsoever standard that you are using. And yes, you are. You have all these checks. You have all these penetration tests and so on. But they they don't really they don't have the ability to to check the the, the system as a technology part of the system. So ICC organized in April a meeting with uh, solution providers, and uh, the aim of this meeting was was to debate the criteria for the reliability in connection to the MLTR and uh, uh, eventual system of reposit repository of the reliable systems. So what what uh, what they did, they prepare a questionnaire to which uh, SPs uh, gave the answers and comments as well. Uh, this is now what is actually happening uh, this summer. They are checking these questionnaires. And at the end of the day, I think that uh, it will be uh, one of the three possible solutions. So it will be self-evaluation, uh, or self-assessment, it will be uh, um, self-assessment with third-party verification or a third-party assessment. This is this is not decided yet. I think uh, about reliability, uh, and uh, uh, there there's also it's it's opening a lot a lot of uh, uh, important questions in connection if if the uh, for example. Uh, local national uh, ICC uh, will adopt what uh, international ICC has done, International Chamber of Commerce. For example, Professor mentioned before that Singapore says, no, our government has to give the approval to the system. So if that will happen, that will be quite a hurdle for, for the solution providers, because if we will have to go through checks with every national ICC, that will be, I think that will be actually uh, uh, one one big hurdle. Uh, on the other hand, um, there are many many interesting questions opening in in this sector, especially connected to autonomy of contracts and uh, uh, connection of the physical flow of the goods uh, and the electronic documents. So this is something that I'm going to try to say about next year. I'm working on this now. Uh, and uh, I, I promised I will be very short. So this is very short version. And thank you very much.